so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into the video. So for today's video, I am going to be doing an updated twist out routine. Well, an updated twist out video because I haven't done a twist out in years. And I took a poll on my YouTube page. I basically asked what you guys wanted to see because I was gonna be washing my hair. I asked if you guys wanted to see a twist out or a new wash and go combo. And most of you guys said twist out. So twist out one. Okay, yep, so I had 38 votes. I don't know if y'all can see, but I had 38 votes. 61% of y'all said you wanted to twist out and twist out one. So we're gonna do a twist out today. So I already washed my hair. I shampooed it with my Hairfinity shampoo. And the main products that I'm gonna be using today are from Miel Organics. I just got their Rosemary Mint Strengthening Hair Mask and I really enjoyed this mask. Comment down below if you guys have tried this already. I really love it. It's it's a nice mask. I don't really think it would give you protein overload just because it's saying sh that it's strengthening. I feel like it's a good balance between giving your hair the nutrients like and the moisture that it needs without it feeling like it's not nourished. Like it's protein and moisture at the same time. And then the styling products that I'm gonna be using today are ones that I've had on my shelf for a while and I'm finally getting around to using them. It's from their pomegranate and honey line. So I'm gonna use the leave-in conditioner and then I'm gonna be using the twisting souffle as my styler for my twist out. I used to use the Eden Body Works leave-in, no, I used to use the Eden Body Works curl cream to do my twist outs. And I haven't used that in so long and I always, do my twist outs on damp hair. So my hair is damp, it's been in a towel. And I'm gonna start by sectioning it. It feels really, really soft too. I mean, two big sections. Yeah, I used to do two twists at the bottom. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so it says the twisting souffle should be primed. It says prime wet hair with pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner before styling. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just re-wet my hair a little bit and add the leave-in conditioner. Let me use that much of the leave-in. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply the leave-in to my entire head first. My hair feels really smooth. Okay. Okay, so the leave-in conditioner is all throughout my hair. My hair is still damp. I wouldn't consider it wet or soaking wet. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the twisting souffle. I didn't realize that my I should have put the leave-in conditioner in my hair as soon as I got out the shower before I wrapped it in a towel and all that stuff, whatever. Moving on. Now I'm gonna use the twisting souffle and I'm very excited to use this product it looks like a very thick butter and this is the type of products that I'm used to using for well that I remember using like for my twist outs and stuff it also seems like it would be a good moisturizer for a wash and go just looking at the consistency but we're gonna see how it feels in my hair so I'm gonna start off with this much of the souffle it's like Ooh, and it spreads like thick. Okay. I like the way how this feels in my hair so far. I'm gonna detangle using my Felicia Leatherwood brush. I absolutely love this brush. The way how I did my twist outs, I would flat twist the roots and then just twist the rest.
So in my old video, I used to just do one twist on each side, but I feel like because my hair is a little bit longer and thicker now, I'm gonna do three. Okay, so in my old video, I twisted my hair to the back. So this time I'm gonna try twisting it towards the front of my face. That way it can be more of like a circular, more full look. I don't really know how to describe what I'm saying, but yeah. So I'm gonna do this twist towards the front of my face and I'm making sure I use very little on this section of my hair cause this part can get really greasy and heavy easily, so. go ahead and do the same thing to this all right y'all so i'm back and my hair is completely twisted i finished my whole head yeah i went and i ate dinner so i feel so much better and my hair actually already started to dry my ends are perfectly curled so i'm like debating if i want to put a rod at the end to keep the curl I think I am going to put a rod just so that they can keep a nice uniform curl. So I'm going to be using the white perm rods and there, yes. Okay, now that all the perm rods are in, another step that I took. So I twisted the twist around itself. and bobby pinned it See, like, look at that compared to this. You see what I'm saying? Whew, now, for my least favorite part, making sure that these things dry completely. I'm gonna be under the dryer for a good, a good two hours, give or take, because I'm, <laughs> I'm really not playing with this twist out. Like I really needed to come out fire because I hate 
wasting my time. All right, so we're back. It has been more than 24 hours. I don't know, listen, my hair dried for a whole day. So these joints better be dry. My roots are all fuzzy. My edges look chewed. So we about to unveil and see what this looks like together. I definitely wanna use some oil. it too much because the definition is really nice we're just gonna go ahead and use some Good old fashioned extreme gel. Okay, we're gonna lay her down with the scarf. Okay, so I will be back with my final thoughts. I'm gonna do my makeup and then I'll come back to you guys and let you guys know how I feel about everything so far. Y'all, I almost did it again. I almost did it. I almost forgot to come back and show y'all the final. Okay, I got caught up. I was making TikToks. I was on Instagram. I was on every other app doing everything else but what I planned to do today, which was to show y'all my results. And they came out amazing. Oh, this, this, I understand why y'all like, you know, to do the twist outs and the braid outs and all that, yada, yada because this is bomb, okay? I'm really feeling this, very much so. Better than what I expected. Like, let's, let's just take a quick look at the definition, okay? The definition is there. Oh, wow. My final thoughts though, I wanna tell y'all about the products. I love this product combination. I really think you guys should try the Mio Organics Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In and Twisting Souffle. I love those two together, especially for a twist out. I may try to use it for a wash and go, or that just, this just might be my main combination that I use when I do twist outs or braid outs. I also think that adding the rods to my ends, you know, added an extra cute little pizzazz and like shape to my hair. I was hated on twist outs, I was. I really was, I'm not gonna lie. Like I was hating. But this is cute, like this is really cute. I can't even deny. Um, I think the key though was the fact that I let it dry completely. And I said that in my old twist out tutorial, you have to let these joints dry completely or else it's going to be a fail. 
Also, the amount of twist is key. I did not do more than 11 twists. You don't wanna make your twist small cause then, you know, you're gonna have like a small twist out. Some people like that. Me personally, I don't. I like my stuff big, fluffy, voluminous, whatever. So in my old video, I did 10 twists. That was when my hair was shorter. This time I did 11. Ooh, big difference, I know. But yeah, I did 11 twists. This time I did two on the bottom, three in the back and three and three also a few things that i did differently at the crown of my head i twisted going towards my face in my old video i used to twist going away from my face so i twisted going towards my face and i think i like that better um i don't know whatever i did here i need to keep doing if i plan on doing this again which i definitely will i'm low-key mad that i'm gonna just be in the house I will save this look for when it's time to go back outside. So yeah, okay, I'm wrapping. Y'all get it, the twist out is bomb. I love it. I love these products. You should try these products. Comment down below if you guys have tried the Miel Organics products, more specifically the pomegranate honey line. Comment down below any videos that you guys want me to do in the future and I will be sure to get that to you guys. Um, does this mean I have to do a braid out next? Are you guys gonna ask for a braid out? all right well thank you guys so much for voting updated twist out instead of wash and go because i already did a wash and go anyway you know because i knew i was going to do that anyway but i decided you know what let me go ahead and switch it up and do something different and i'm glad y'all encouraged me to on my poll and you guys voted for twist out so i'm gonna i'm gonna use the poll more often to see what you guys want it only makes sense so all right, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And then I will see you guys in my next video.